initially we weren't assigned to the task, so you don't really have your mind focused on that, and then you become involved in it. And uh, you get that switch goes off, and you go in and you do what you need to do. And I'm Mike Bates, I'm a firefighter EMT for the Anchorage Fire Department, Station 15, A shift. Jim Jury, engineer, Anchorage Fire Department for 16 years. We were going in hot and heavy for a working fire. There was a severe amount of damage to the house when we arrived. Fortunately, the lady that lived in the home had a smoke detector and she was out of the house when we got there. As this extinguishment was being finished and we were transitioning into salvaging what was left in the house, the homeowner asked us if we had found her dog, who, which we did not know was in the house at the time. After 15 or 20 minutes, they could not find the dog, and the lady insisted that she knew the dog was in the house. So we had to pack up and go in and search for the pet. You know, when we came in, the smoke was about halfway down to the floor. I would say 50% of the house was destroyed, either by smoke or fire, probably even a little bit more than that. She clued us into that it, it likes to hide under the bed. And so I got down on my hands and knees and looked to the headboard of the bed and behind it I noticed that there was a, a void space between the two sets of dresser drawers that were under the bed. And the dog was kind of scurrying, you know, from side to side back in there, but he was wedged obviously in the farthest reach from you. He didn't want to come out and didn't want to be found and he did a pretty good job of it for quite a while. Jim Jury was with me and he went around the other side of the bed and I got at that side of the bed and he shooed the dog towards me until I could get hands on the dog and make it comfortable enough to come far enough that I could grab it. And it worked out really well, made everybody happy in the crew that we could actually hand over the pet to the owner and I mean, they were super excited. I would say always have a good smoke detector in your house, um, CO detectors, they're, they're huge. They were allowed to get out of the house because the smoke detector was working and that got them out and we can come in and, and do our thing. Those two things are so important to getting out of a fire. 